In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up and uh, configure Symphony 2 uh, on a Windows uh, machine. To begin, please go to symphony.com slash download and uh, select the Symphony standard, the latest version, zip, ver zip file and click on download now. Allow it to download completely. So uh, once the download is completed, um, open a zip file and uh, <coughs> drag and drop everything that you see inside the uh, zip folder to a folder in your um, web server. In this case, I called uh, the folder uh, Symphony 2. Okay, so um, all the files are extracted, and um, note that you have several different uh, directories here. Uh, one of them is called web, and that's the main web uh, directory that Symfony functions under. There are several different PHP files in this folder. Um, the one that we uh, care about is this config.php which um, will also let us know uh, how to configure uh, the Symfony. So go to localhost, the uh, directory that you uh, uh, extracted into slash web config.php. So here, um, if there are any issues, it will tell you your configuration as the issue, it'll list them here. And right now, it looks like everything's okay. Um, you can click on configure the application online, and that will actually allow you to configure uh, the uh, database instance, uh, any path, port, and username and password, which I will leave uh, blank for now and click next and this right here is how it encrypts all your uh, sensitive data this is a uh, key um, you can accept the default and click next and here it is uh, it will write uh, the uh, parameters to a file in app config parameters dot yml and this is the content of it so you can click on go to the welcome page and it will take you to the uh, welcome page this uh, pretty much summarizes uh, how to install Symfony uh, the only other um, I issue that I will point out is with PHP path. Um, Symfony makes a uh, heavy usage of uh, uh, temp uh, the um, scaffolding and in order for you to be able to do that you have to make sure that the path to your PHP directory is in your environment variable. In order to do that um, right click on your computer properties and click on advanced system settings here under the environment variables there is a uh, an entry called path select that and hit edit and make sure that your path exists on at the end uh, or any part of this string called variable value in this case, I actually have uh, this environment path already, so I'm good to go. And hit OK and OK again to exit and um, set the PHP path. Uh, this concludes uh, part one of the uh, 
uh, Symphony 2 tutorial. Um, please subscribe and uh, leave comments uh, and uh, stay tuned for part two.